as he puts this away to retire the side. Seth Maness is on out of the bullpen now as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Francisco Linder is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. The pitch. Now a breaking ball runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. And a good take there. Close, but it's 2-2. Two and, two. and the hope was that he would have chased one of those pitches, but now on 2-2, two and two, I don't think you fool around anymore. And that'll get through into center. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base now to lead off the inning. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And that'll bring in the speedy center fielder, Michael Bourne. Trying to get that go-ahead run to scoring position now as he puts this one down. Throw is too late, so the sacrifice attempt turns into a base hit. Jason Kipnis will step in now as his guys look for a breakthrough here with a runner in scoring position. Yeah, that's been a long time coming. They haven't done anything with their opportunities so far. Maybe this would be the time that they finally crack the scoreboard. Michael Brantley step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. He had a chance of redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances. He can make up for all of that with a base hit right here. And they roll the dice with the squeeze, and he gets it down. And the go-ahead run will score from third as they've taken the lead here in the late going. First pitch coming. And a breaking ball backs him out of the way. 1-0 the count. Yeah, I don't think this is a guy you want to mess with here. He can hurt you in more ways than one. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. A 2-1 offering. Oh, he wanted that one, but it misses for ball three. He knows the drill out there. You've got to make him swing the bat. And not be giving up walks at this stage of the game. Because those could be fatal. Cardinals get the bullpen started here as a right-hander's up and warming. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. Now a swing and a ball grounded to second. And the throw to first is in time, but the damage has been done as the side is retired. Mark Reynolds will stand in needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. Outfield in the no doubles defense. Now the first pitch. Ninth inning underway now as the first pitch is taken for a cold strike. Put yourself in the shoes of that man right there. What's going through his mind right now? I would guess he's trying to approach his ninth inning the same way he has earlier. But come on, we know it's hearts racing. You just got to focus on the glove and trust what your catch is calling because you've done a heck of a job also. Now this is up and in, and I don't think he likes that location much. It's ball one. Grounded foul off to the left, so they'll do it again. Another 1-2 delivery. Now a ball hit high in the air. Deep down the line in left. Hooking just a little. And that's off the left field wall. He's around second now, and they still haven't gotten to this thing. Long throw to third. And they're not going to get him at third. He's in there with nobody out as the potential tying run. Well, he's making a pretty good bid here to tie this game up. I didn't think this was going to make it as far as it did, but you'll see it hit off the wall on the fly, and he just keeps right on going around second. He'll make it into third with a leadoff triple. Now here comes the Cleveland skipper up out of the dugout on his way to the mound, and he's looking to the bullpen here, so it would appear that's all for his starter tonight. Scott Atchison is on, and he'll take over on the mound. Colton Wong is at the plate as he watches ball one. Nervous time now in that third base dugout. Heck, nervous time up here. My heart's racing and I'm just watching this game. The 1-0. And yeah, that swung on and missed on a pitch down, 1-1. One and, one. and the infield behind him has come in here, but I've got a feeling he's going to try to handle this one himself. Now the 1-1. One, I one. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. Right-hander deals on one and two. And this is fouled back and out of play. Again, a one-two. 
fouled back. He'll try again, one, two. Inside with the slider, and that'll back him up a bit. Well, that might be his way of saying, look, enough of the foul balls already. Here he comes on two and two. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And he's going to make the catch on the warning track. A fine running play there for the first down. And the run will score from third on the sacrifice fly, and we are tied here in the late inning. When he steps to the plate, he knows exactly what he's got to do. This one's deep enough to get the job done, and that ties up the ball game. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begin throwing. A ball hit hard to the left side. And he's got himself a base hit. Yeah, a nice effort here. At Here's the first pitch. Rendell Gritcher is in with one away now as he swings and misses here at strike one. Boy, we've seen a lot of guys be late on that fastball tonight. And I think that all comes from being a little over-aggressive. Pitch is way outside, and that's straight to the backstop. Throw down to third is thrown away right down the left field line. Here's the 1-1 pitch. And he'll just fight this one off as it's chopped foul. So one and two with one away. And the slider gets him swinging to God. Matt Holliday will dig in, needing to find a way to get that go-ahead run in from second base. Here's the first pitch. Now a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Now a long throw home. In the dirt. And oh, he can't quite dig it out. And the runner will score from second as they take a 2-1 lead. Anthony Swarzak will take over with two gone here in the top of inning number nine. A couple of lefties start to get loose now in the bullpen. First pitch to him. Jason Hayward is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you go up every once in a while with a fastball, you'll be fine, but you're not going to last too long if you make a habit of working up there with your secondary pitches. And a big swing by Hayward, but this is on the ground to second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. So disaster. John Gomes will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And this is hit sharply on the ground toward the hole. No problem here. One away. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he finds himself in a flat-footed tie for the National League lead in that category. David Murphy stands in as he looks at a called strike. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. Throw on to first, and now the Indians are down to their final out. Nice job there as he gets the first two men to face him here. And now they're just one out away from picking up the first two games of this series. Francisco Linder will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. Swing and a miss, and now the Tribe finds themselves down to their last strike. Now the one-two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, just a really nice come from behind victory here as they took the lead in the top of the ninth and then made it stand up. All in all, a tough loss here for this home crowd.
this one. Definitely a low-scoring affair as we get one last look at our final line score.